Hey, what's up, folks? This is Max Uhas from Cannabis Marketing Solutions. And today we're going to talk about digital marketing and SEO and Google Maps for uh, dispensaries, recreational and medical dispensaries in the state of New York. Now, obviously, um, you know, it's been legalized. Uh, I know the process is still in, a, in it's still in the works. Um, we've been working, we've been dealing with this uh, with a few other states as clients um, from, you know, basically the, the, the license submission to getting it all figured out to actually opening up. But the fact is, is that um, if you are opening a dispensary in the state of New York, no matter where you are, whether it's NYC, whether it's, whether it's the five boroughs, whether it's, you know, Albany, Rochester, Buffalo, or anywhere in between, you're going to need good SEO. So I want to show you a quick case study on one of the um, dispensaries that we helped open up in another state, just to give you a really good idea of what can happen when you have good SEO in place for your cannabis dispensary. Thanks for watching. Talk soon. All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Max Uhas here from Cannabis Marketing Solutions. And I'm, I want to put together a fun little case study for you uh, for a new client dispensary that we just opened up in uh, Bellin, New Mexico. Well, we didn't open it. We, we, did, we did all their SEO and their website work and stuff. Now, um, for those of you that don't know, the state of New Mexico, uh, you know, kind of rushed a lot of stuff. And there were a number of um, issues that happened with, uh, dispensaries opening up, you know, there were there, from my understanding, I, I heard through the grapevine, uh, that like 150 licenses or fingerprint background checks or something went missing, uh, which greatly delayed, uh, what was happening. So these guys actually hired us. I'm going to bounce through a, a couple different screens here just to show you things. So we built their maps listing. I want to say on, March 14th, right? So March 14th, because we wanted them to be ready because they were supposed to be open on April 1st, right? Now, as you can see here, uh, today is May 5th, uh, 2022. Uh, we built their, we built their uh, maps listing, I want to say on the 12th, 14th, something like that, uh, March, March 12th, 14th. Um, and in that time, because we had done such a good job with their actual, like, uh, the site was ready, for the most part, um, the maps listing was ready. And let's just put it, let, let, let's put it this way. So right here, there were 69 direction requests, 60 phone calls, and 95 visits to the website on April 1st, which was the day that New Mexico went legal. Okay. Um, on 420, uh, so they didn't get their license until the 15th. So they had, they had to turn down, from my understanding, they told me they turned down over 100 cars on the first day, okay? On 420, they still were not open. Uh, their grand opening was the 30th, you know, um, for this. But this is this is a good idea of what a maps, like a properly optimized maps listing can look like for a dispensary business. Because you're talking uh, over, 100, um, over 100 direction requests, for this for this business okay over thirteen thousand views on google both on maps and on search okay actually there were almost nine thousand searches on maps for the month of april to may okay um four thousand forty five hundred uh searches on um just from google okay uh, a grand total of eighty five hundred searches together discovery searches were seventy two percent zero branded searches, you know, or I'm sorry, 18.02 or 0.2%. And then the, the direct searches were 27%. So 72% of their actual traffic came from people searching things like dispensary near me, um, stuff like that. And then we're going to go back to this. I'm sorry, I have a bajillion tabs open, but okay. Yeah. So basically, so from April 8th, to this, we're tracking uh, roughly, a, you know, a little over a thousand uh, searches to the. Yeah, because I don't think I don't think the actual analytics kicked in. Um, so the organic search, organic search, or organic social was like six ninety one. 
Organic search was 315, direct was 125, and referral was only one. Um, so over a thousand searches came in with only 125 of them being like smokeldispensary.com. Okay, the rest of them were all searches coming in. And from a case study standpoint, you know, you really can't, I'm not going to say you can't get better than this, but for something like this to where this is a brand new business and literally they've only been open, I want to say for a week now, day one, they did over, um, they did over 10,000 in sales on the 30th from the, from their, uh, official grand opening. Um, <sighs> So if you run a dispensary, okay, and this is and this is and what's great about these guys is, is like they're actually they're a fun they're a fun group. I mean, this is from April eighth, right? This was uh Chris <laughs> with his this is bullshit hat. We'll work for a state cannabis license, um, holding a sign out in front of the business because they still you know tears and stuff. Um, when they finally opened, okay, when they finally opened. It was one of, I actually, I went there to help them because I needed photos for the website of the inventory of everything else. You know, the mayor showed up to take photos with them. Um, you know, this was the line on day one outside the store. Chris is out there making videos. Uh, the glass guys blowing glass out there. Um, you know, this is, this is what's, what's great is uh, that's just the shirt. I gave those guys, I gave those guys a couple shirts and a couple stickers, but you know, like they basically went from not having any presence online uh, or they had a lot of presence online, but they weren't able to open up yet. Okay. To uh, running, you, you know, basically, but basically being properly set up so that when they had their license, they were making money on day one. We had it. We had an email list of over, it was well over 200 people. I want to say it was close to 300 people who, because we had to change, change the, you know, it wasn't like, Hey, come visit us uh, from our website, you know, or like, Hey, shop now on our website. It was actually like, Hey, sign up for the emails for when we get uh, for when we're open, you know? So we had, we, we had an email list of a little under 300 people. Emails went out, things went out. Um, so, so the grand open, so, but basically they were set up the right way. The website was built. We built the website. We did the maps listing. We did their emails. We did their CRM stuff. Uh, we found them a really good payment processor and fingers crossed, uh, if the machines should be delivered today for them to take the, um, what's it called, uh, for them, for them to take, uh, online credit card payments as well. So if this is something that, that you want, you know, if you're, if you're, cause, cause this is, this is what you got to realize, right? I'm, and I'm going to go back to these, uh, these maps listings here for a local dispensary, because you can only, you know, let's just put it this way. The reason you open up a local business is to get, uh, you know, local business, right? I mean, but here's the thing. So you're talking about, if we zoom out here, I mean, we're getting directions from ABQ, Galbadon, Rio Communities North, Las Lunas, Bellin, which is where they're located. You know, so you're talking over well over 100 directions requests in the last month. We're talking well over 100, I mean, close to 200 phone calls in a month. You know. 666 websites, <laughs> it's, um, you know, 257 requested directions in a month, 270 phone calls in a month. That's huge for a small business. So if your business isn't generating this type of traffic, please give us a call. We can help you out. Okay. And this is just one dispensary. All right. Anyway, this is Max from, from, uh, cannabis marketing solutions. Thanks for watching. We'll talk soon.